What's up, motherfuckers? I'm back up on this beat. <laughs> I don't know, but whatever. But Survivor Series is this weekend. NXT TakeOver War Games this weekend, too. Obviously, TakeOver being on Saturday night. Survivor Series the following night on Sunday night. Should be interesting. Survivor Series, I think it's, it's going to be a good, good pay-per-view, to be honest. It should it should be a good pay-per-view, especially with like, all the match card that's like so stacked right now and like all the superstars. That like all the wrestlers that would be featured on, on this show, you know, it, it should be a good match. I don't know why, it w- all these matches should be good to be honest, most of them at least. But, but yeah, so here's my predictions for 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 Survivor Series 2017. It's probably it'll probably be definitely this is one obviously one of the big four pay per views because it's WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, and then Survivor Series. Well, it's 2017, and Survivor Series. This week's, this year's Survivor Series looks like it will be better than than WrestleMania 33, SummerSlam, and Royal Rumble because because Re- WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Royal Rumble this year were like was so fucking shitty, dude. Shitty ass. It was so sh- it was so shitty. Those three pay per views were, and so Survivor Series should be a good pay per view. Definitely will be better than those other th- than the other three big pay per views for this year. In my opinion, to be to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, oh, you guys see my back views like I have, a, I have like so much fungal pops. Dude. I made this shelf in school, which is like pretty cool, and like I just I have like all my figures on that. Like it's really badass, really sweet. Yeah, all, here I got all my Stranger Things figures up there, man. I, I love Stranger Things. Dude. I love that show, man. That show is amazing. Best show on, on the whatever, dude. So I was watching JD's his um I believe it was his SmackDown review. I th- I think it was, I don't know, but whatever. I was watching one of his videos this week. Oh, he let his review on Raw or SmackDown. And he was talking about Survivor Series a little bit, and he was saying how like at first when the night bef- the night after Extreme Rules, I believe it was when Kurt Angle came out. You know, it was that same. You know, the night before, I believe it was Extreme Rules where like SmackDown like invaded Raw. You know, and they like just beat up everyone that same night. Like when when Kurt Angle announced everything, like all the matches, like it it, it did not seem like no one it. No one was, there was like no excitement at all because it was Jinder Mahal, it was going to be Jinder Mahal versus Brock Lesnar, you know. It was, I don't know, there was like no excitement, but like since they, since like now, since like we're like four days away, like five days away or whatever, from the, from Survivor Series, like now like, since they've, since there's been like a lot of title changes, a lot of title changes, and JD was talking about this, how like, he believes that they, uh, they made all those title changes because, because like there's a lot of tension on, NXT TakeOver, obviously, since War Games is return, returning, you know? So, it's like, I feel like... I, 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 I'm I like i with this with JD, too, because, like, I, I feel like WWE, they really were like, oh, shit, dude, like, everyone's, like, excited for TakeOver, dude. You know, they're gonna have War Games back that we haven't had in, like, 20 years or so, I don't know, maybe 30, I don't know. So, it's like, I feel like they made all the changes, you know, just to, like, compete against... Takeover and Saturday night basically because WWE they do have competition in their own company which is fucking hilarious to be honest. So yeah, so so that's why they had to announce Triple H should be on the team, you know, with with the men, you know, with the five v five and Kurt Angle too. You know, that's why that's why they, it's all just to like just to compete against Takeover basically. So like yeah, so I'm I'm pretty sure Vince McMahon. He was like, "Oh shit, dude, we we actually let's give the fans what they actually want for once." So yeah, so JD was talking about that, you know. So like, yeah, I was like, "Oh shit," I'm like, "That's actually, is it, yeah." Like, I don't know if it's true or not, but it it could seem like it if it's true or not. Whatever, dude. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna get into this real quick. Um, tonight I'm recording this. It's Wednesday, so tonight's NXT, and it's a go home show of NXT. I'm very excited for TakeOver, and I will be doing a re- prediction video for TakeOver War Games because I am so damn excited for that pay-per-view. But I will be doing a um, review on the Go Home Show of NXT tonight. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe or not. I don't know, but, de- but definitely, maybe, but, if, I don't know, I'll see, but whatever. Uh, I will do my prediction video for NXT TakeOver tomorrow, probably on Thursday. And I will be doing reviews on, on TakeOver War Games and several series. Should be a good weekend, to be honest. Really should be. Whatever, so like the first match is obviously a pre show match. Enzo and Kaliso for the Cruiserweight Championship. Who does anyone care? I really don't. Um, I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm just gonna go for Enzo, dude. I really don't care about that match. Second match, um, it's a nine title match. The Miz with Curtis Axel and Bull Dallas versus the United States champion, 
Baron Corbin. Obviously, it's champion, champion versus champion on both brands. You know, so like, so like Raw. Yes, champions versus champion. That's a constant uh, for this year's Raw series. Obviously, so it's champion versus champion without without any titles being online too, which is yeah. So um, I don't know this match. I don't think this match does it. This match even excite anyone. The um, Miz and Baron Corbin. Uh, it doesn't excite me at all. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't care about the match. Doesn't really excite me that much. But I'm just gonna go for the Miz. You know, I'm pretty sure Axel and Dallas are obviously gonna get involved in the match somehow. You know, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the Miz for that for that match. And by the way, doing SmackDown, he destroyed Baron Corbin when you when he was on the Miz TV, dude. Like he had like he like cut like a like a two two minute and a, two minute promo on like Baron Corbin, and he just like destroyed them, dude. I was like, holy shit, dude. I was like, damn, dude, that's so sad. But, yeah, whatever. Um. Alright, so. Team Raw. Alright, so now the man's traditional 5-on-5 five five Survival Series interbrand elimination match. Team Raw having Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and Triple H. Obviously, Triple H replacing Jason Jordan. Um. Team SmackDown will there will be having their captain is Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura, Shinsuke Nakamura, and John Cena. Those are the five men on on Raw and SmackDown. And if um Kurt Angle if he doesn't um if he doesn't lead Raw to victory um he basically gets fired from general manager. So that should be like really interesting. And by the way, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they're not even, like, on this card at all. So, it's, like, it's pretty obvious that they're going to get involved in the man's traditional 5-on-5 five five match. It's it's pretty obvious because how... Um, I heard about the bus situation. I haven't I haven't read anything too much about it. Um, but, like, I heard what happened. I don't even know. They heard they got kicked out of the bus. I don't know. Some stupid shit like that. Who cares, to be honest. But whatever. Yeah, they're, they're not on the card at all whatsoever. They don't have a match at all. So it's like, how can you take them out of this pay per view? So it's pretty obvious that they're gonna they're gonna fuck over SmackDown. So I feel like Raw is gonna end up winning the um the five on five men traditional Survivor Series um elimination match just because Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are gonna fuck over SmackDown. I mean, SmackDown can still win, you know. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna like eliminate Shane McMahon, you know, because you know they have that beef going on with Shane McMahon or whatever Kevin Owens does. I don't know. Either way. Either they're gonna like fuck over SmackDown Live, or they're gonna fuck over um Shane McMahon by by get by basically getting him eliminated by like Triple H or something. I don't know. It should be pretty cool because like we could be seeing a Triple H and Shane McMahon stand down. So that would that would that would be pretty badass, you know. That really would, you know, since they're like now they're same like they're same they're from like the same family. I don't know. It should be a good match. You have to have Cena do Cena and Kurt Angle another. Stand down, dude. That would be pretty lit right there, dude, to be honest. Kurt Angle and Cena stand down, dude. Damn. But, I mean, it's pretty sad that, like, Triple H and Cena, you know, they didn't have to, like, fight for their spots at all, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's why things happen. I feel like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are gonna come out, and they're gonna end up fucking over SmackDown Live, making Raw win. That's So, I'm going for Team Raw for that. For that. All right, for the right, for for the women's traditional five on five Survivor Series interbrand elimination match, which is I believe it's the first time I believe I don't even know, dude. To be honest, I don't know, but it's the women's five on five now. Obviously, Team Raw, the women, five women on the roster from Team Raw versus five women from the roster in Team SmackDown. Team Raw, you will be having Alicia Fox, Nia Jax, Oscar, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. Um, Team SmackDown, Becky Lynch, Carmella, Naomi, Tamina, and what the, who the fuck is TBA? I, I I by the way I have not watched SmackDown and Raw in like in a month, <laughs> so I don't know who that TBA is. I don't know, dude. I feel so stupid right now, dude. I feel <laughs> I feel so dumb. I don't know who TBA is. I don't know, but with Lin with Lana, I don't know. Whatever. So, I really don't care about this match at all. I really don't, to be honest. Don't really excite me. Alicia Fox is a captain for Raw, which I don't know why. I don't, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have Asuka on this match. In this elimination match, I would not I would not have her in this match. Just because, I don't know, I just wouldn't have her in this match at all, dude. But, yeah. um, 
I don't know, I'm just gonna go for Team SmackDown, dude, because if, if, I feel like, all right, so, like, in the men's, men's traditional match, like, if, the, if, the, if, like, Team Raw, if Team Raw loses, I'm pretty sure the SmackDown women's roster will win, you know, just be, like, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just gonna go for Team SmackDown, but, yeah, um, the fifth match, which, which, this should be a good match, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Cesaro and Sheamus the, uh, versus the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos. This should be a really good match. I am pretty damn excited for this tag team match. God damn, this is going to be a good fucking match, dude. Um, I don't know. I really don't care who wins. I'm just going to go for the Usos, dude. But I feel like Cesaro and Sheamus will win. Just so big. I feel like they need some more momentum for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going for the Usos. But I would not be surprised if Cesaro and Sheamus do win. Well, that should be a really good match. All right. Uh, Universal. All right. So now the Universal Champion Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman versus WWE Champion AJ Styles. Dude. Obviously, this will be main event. Main event in the show. Obviously, the WWE Champion AJ Styles. He took the title away from Jinder Mahal. Thank God, dude. To be honest. And. Yeah, I don't know. This should be a really good match, dude. Um, I heard rumors about that Paul Heyman actually wants um, AJ Styles to win this match. I don't know, but I'm going for AJ for this match, dude. I am. Obviously, the titles are not on the line at all whatsoever. So, Brock Lesnar won't be losing his title at all. But this this should be a really good match. I hope it's not a fucking five-minute match. <laughs> it probably will be. I wouldn't be surprised. So, if it is a five-minute match, don't, uh, don't be surprised at all. But I hope at least it goes ten minutes. I hope it's. I hope it. It, it should be good. It should be a good match, dude. Really should be. I hope, um, at least I'm hoping so. But yeah, I'm going for AJ for that match. AJ. Now the Shield, obviously reuniting. Obviously, as you guys know, the Shield versus the New Day. Uh, this match really. I don't know. Really, it really don't excite me. I, I mean, I think it, it will be a good match. I mean, because like, by the way, Xavier Woods he's so underrated. I swear. He is so underrated as a wrestler, dude. Especially when it comes to like his in-ring performance, he is so goddamn underrated. I don't think, like, a hell in a cell when when the Uso when Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, no 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 when Big E and Xavier Woods were defending the titles, I believe against the Usos. I don't know. It was like the New Day. It was Xavier Woods and Big E. They were having a match inside the hell in a cell with um the Usos. Dude, Xavier Woods, like, I think he proved everyone wrong because I don't think a lot of people would think Xavier Woods is good at all, you know? Like, as an in-ring performer, dude. Uh, well, he, like, proved a lot of people wrong that night because he's just... He is so underrated, dude, when it comes to his wrestling skills, to be honest. I, I just want to say that. I just want I, I just want to, like... I just wanted to say that real quick. But, yeah, the Shield versus the New Day. Obviously, the Shield are going to win, I'm pretty sure. But there should be a good match, to be honest. Um, it's just, yeah, it, oh, it, it's just a regular tag team match. Um, I wish it was, I, w I wish, like, all, I wish, like, all, like, six men were just on the ring at the same time. They were just going at it. I wish that's how it was, but no, it sees that it's just a tag, regular tag team match. But this should be, overall, should be a good match, so, yeah. I'm going for the shoot for that match. Alright, now, now it comes to the women's championship matches. Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss versus SmackDown New Women's Champion Charlotte. This really should be a pretty good women's match to be honest. Obviously, like I said, titles are not on the line at all. It's just brands. It's just the two brands competing against each other. I hope I hope one year they I hope one year they have NXT involved in this type of shit. So it'll be like Raw versus NXT versus SmackDown. Dude, you know that would be badass to be honest. Whatever, but yeah. Um, obviously last night Charlotte did defeat Natalia for the SmackDown Women's Champion, so congrats, congrats to her, I guess, or whatever. But I'm going, for, I'm going for Alexa Bliss for this match, but I'm, I'm, but I doubt she'll win. I'm pretty sure it'll be Charlotte who wins this match, but whatever. That's it for your. That's my Survivor Series predictions for 2017. Remember, Survivor Series is this Sunday night. I will be doing a review on that on um, on Survivor Series. Hopefully, I will definitely be tweeting out. I, I, will, I will be tweeting out live. So follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram too, and I will be doing a prediction video for NXT Takeover because I'm 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 way more excited for Takeover War Games than Survivor Series. All right, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna say that I'm pretty sure that's the same with everyone else too. 
But um yeah, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. And I'm I'm by the way I'm like I have like forty six subscribers, I'm like four away from like fifty. So like I don't know if you like I don't know, I don't really only like care if anyone subscribes to my stuff or whatever, but like I'm like four away from like fifty. So like I I would be like really happy if I can at least get fifty subscribers. Just like four more or whatever. But so like please subscribe I guess. But yeah, and uh, another thing I want to say is that Call of Duty World War Two. I just got the game last week on Friday. I've been playing a lot of that game. I'm loving it so far. It's, I think it's a great Call of Duty. There's nothing to complain about. Nothing at all. It's. I'm so glad. It makes me happy that it's boots on the ground, and I'm just happy to keep playing. I'm, I'm just happy it came out. I didn't like the beta at all. I, I played the beta. I didn't like the beta at all. I didn't think the game was gonna be go, good at all, but. But you can't really judge the game, you know, when when you haven't got to play the whole entire game yet. So it's like I'm loving it so far. Um, everyone, everyone, everyone in the Call of Duty com community is like hyped as hell for the game. You know, everyone's hitting clips and stuff like that. So it's like it's just like the old days, dude. So like I'm loving the game a lot. So I will be trying to do review videos on that because I I have an Agado. I've had an Agado for like almost a year now. But like the TV that I have, it's like a small TV and like it does not support my HD my um my um Agado for some reason. I don't know. It's like it's an old and like small TV. So like. So like I will be getting a monitor in like in a couple of weeks, like a gaming monitor. So it's like I will. So I'm gonna stop using Share Factory on my PS4 and start using my Elgato, dude, because that's what I'm trying to use. But that's it for this goddamn video, dude. I'm all of this bitch, Cloud Gang, motherfucker.